学一个非常好吃的甜点，叫做 fruit pizza。那么，为了准备这个甜点呢，大家看到这有一大盆非常甜美的水果。我们要先准备的呢是 cookie dough， 就是传统的跟做曲奇用的材料是一样，但是我们把它做成一个像披萨的饼托的形状，然后再把这个水果和它做一个完美的结合，就是我们的 fruit pizza。So right now let's turn it to Deborah and let's start from the cookie dough. Yep. We'll start with the Cookie dough, and it's actually a sugar cookie、oh, recipe. And if they don't want to make it homemade, you can buy cookie sugar cookie dough already made at the grocery store. I see. In, in the in which not、yeah. it's not usually not in the freezer aisle, but one of the coolers. I see.、Uh, with other desserts. I see.、Like、breakfast biscuits and rolls. It's uncooked dough that's in tubes.、Mm -hmm. So it'll be like in a so shape of a sausage,、mm -hmm. about this long,、mm -hmm. and it'll say sugar cookie dough. Okay, I see. So, 如果你们想节省时间的话呢，我们也可以不用做这个 homemade cookie dough， 只是在那个面包的那个超市面包的那个 aisle 旁边有一个 cooler 的 aisle， 我们可以找到这种呃写着是 sugar cookie dough 的这种半成品，然后它实际上就是准备好的面坨，你直接把它放到烤箱里就可以了。Okay, so, so this is how we make, make our own.、Homemade. This is、yeah. one half cup of butter, I see. which is one stick,、mm -hmm. and then three fourths cup of sugar. We use a whole cup of sugar. I'm missing my half cup. <laughs> Here it is. Half. So we need a half cup and a fourth cup. So one stick butter means you may half cut, one half cut already measured. So make it easy. So you level it off.、Uh -huh. That's one half. Okay. And then a fourth makes three fourths. Wow. Three fourths cup of butter. Now I let the butter soften up a little bit. You don't want to take it right out of the refrigerator and use it. If it's hard, put it in the microwave to soften it a little bit. But now we're going to do what's called creaming,、mm -hmm. and we use our mixer for that. 注意，在我们 creaming 它之前，我们要把黄油呢先让它软化一下。可以用微波炉软化它。You can just hold it here so they can see what we're doing. And watch out! <laughs> well, I guess I can set it right here. Yeah. Get our coffee out of the way. And we do this till it's all one color. I see. In a kind of a In a creamy consistency.、Mm -hmm. Now in the baking aisle,、mm -hmm. they'll need to find this product. It's a little、uh -huh. unusual cream of tartar,、okay. but it's what helps the cookie dough rise when、mm -hmm. it's in the oven.、Mm -hmm. And you don't need very much, but you you really、yeah. have to use it、okay. because your cookies. We're looking for a one. Which which where I okay the baking aisle okay. In home kitchen, you can find this called cream of tart tartar tartar tartar. It will be with the spices.、Mm -hmm. What's the difference with the soda? Oh, the baked soda. I think that, from my understanding, when you buy baking powder,、mm -hmm. baking powder has soda and it has some of this.、Okay. It has a couple of elements in it. I, I'm not an expert on that, but I、okay. think this is just.、Uh, They both do the same thing, but 
I, you'd have to ask a chemist about that. <laughs> How cream of tartar works, I'm not sure. I just know it does. So it's lumped off in one teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And then oh, only a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. So put both of that. Both of them. Okay. Half. That's one half. 再放一半二分之一汤勺的烘焙的苏打 And uh, oh, just a, a, just a pinch of pinch of salt <laughs> 一点点盐 And then one and one fourth cups flour 一又四分之一的 cups of flour This is this unleashed wheat flour And then we're going to stir it together. We could use the mixer or we could just do it by hand. Let's get a wooden spoon and stir it together. I can do it. I it. And after it's all mixed together, we'll spread it out evenly on a pan and bake it. Do we need to add some milk or something? No, it looks dry, doesn't it? Oh, too dry. <laughs> Oh, well, let, wait, here's one liquid I forgot. We uh -huh. do put vanilla in. I forgot the vanilla. Okay. Two teaspoons. Mm -hmm. That'll help moisten it just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Vanilla so, extra. Aroma is wonderful. Oh, so good. To make sugar cookies taste good, they shouldn't leave out the vanilla extract. So oh. That's where the nice flavor comes from. So if you want to make your food taste good, you should not forget to put the vanilla in the sugar cookie. That's probably good enough because mm -hmm. we're going to be putting our hands in it and spreading it out. Oh, and uh, we, we might have to coat our hands with flour so mm -hmm. it won't stick to our hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's the pan. Okay. Let's see how this turns out. 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 Let's
cream cheese is at room temperature, mm. or it'll make it a lot harder to mix. We'll just get a tool to get it off. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll give you one. Sure. And I'll do the other. Stickiness. Uh, a little bit of taste. And we'll save these to spread it out over our cookie. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Now here's our finished cookie dough, and it's cooled. Uh -huh. You have to make sure you don't put this on while the cookie is still warm. I see. And I'll take a glob of it and start spreading it, and you can do the same thing. you do it. And after this we're going to take this variety of fresh fruit and decorate it any way we want to just to make it look I feel appetizing. Like I'm a painter. <laughs> <laughs> I think it turns to you. I'm not good at this. Oh, you're doing a great job. I can. I'll help you, you get it off your spoon. This is all going to be covered up with fruit, so mm -hmm. if it's not perfectly even, it won't even show. I see. Okay. So, how do you want to start this? Do you want to start with blueberries or strawberries? We can do one row of berries and then one row of another fruit. Let's put the berries right down the middle. Okay. I have no experience about decoration. <laughs> okay, then uh, here's some blueberries. Mm -hmm. I'll line the berries. Let's put blueberries on both sides. Symmetrical. Mm -hmm. And then maybe uh, a line of peaches. You always be so quick. <laughs> I can't ca catch up you. <laughs> when you raised five children, you had to hurry. Okay. Any time there was time to learn. <laughs> there wasn't much time to... No time to waste. So now, now I have some kiwi. Mm -hmm. And we're running out of space, but it, the, the uh, principle is mm -hmm. pretty obvious. You just put a variety on to make it look appetizing. and We have pineapple and berries. You can use any kind of fruit you want. Okay. But it becomes very colorful. It's great for a summer dessert. There's a lot of fresh fruit around. Mm -hmm. So that that's a we can throw a berry or two on. Pineapple, great. And then what we'll do is just cut it into squares. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you store it in the fridge, it's good to put plastic wrap over it. Wow. I said. Would you like See? to try some? Uh, <laughs> I want to finish my steak first and then try the dessert. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, see how you like it after. Okay. So, yeah, almost done. That's our fruit pizza. Do you like it?